They have a plan to steal your soul, to steal your consciousness. In this video, I'm going to be empowering you to understand how the game is played because they need your consciousness trapped to fuel their artificial timelines of destruction and Armageddon on this planet. We'll talk about everything today on Earth 1111. You won't believe that it is actually us that is feeding the evil on this planet. We have to understand that there are so many layers of truth well beyond just right, the, the play going on out there, the many different movies that are acting out. They need you to fuel their predator mind, their Armageddon timelines, because when they entrap your consciousness, your consciousness, remember, is a battery. You are that infinite energy that they need directing towards their plan. Now, all sounds like some sci-fi until you understand how it works. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining in detail how they use people to fuel the darkness. So really, it's about taking back our power, not allowing any morsel of us to be enslaved into any certain program or game. Because remember, we are that infinite stream, and that's why they know that they need your energy. So this is why we have just one constant drama after another going on out there. It's going to be getting even crazier. So you have to be the one to really master yourself. Ascension is about self-realization, self-mastery. It's not about learning a bunch of you know, facts about our galactic past or gaining some psychic abilities. Those are really just extras. The real process of ascension is complete self-mastery, purification of the body so you can literally merge with spirit in physical matter. So, what they're trying to do is prevent that in every way possible. Who's they? Well, some people will call them the elites, but I don't even believe in fueling them with that term, right? We have million, billions of people all around calling these groups of people, right, the parasites of the world, calling them the elites, the powers that be. So instead, let's turn that, turn that around and understand who they really are. They are parasites that need you. This is why it's one drama after another out there. So, and the reason for that is because there's many different levels that they can keep you playing the game that prevent you from stepping into your soul mission, from stepping into your greatest expression. Because it really is about when we have so many different energies siphoned off, right, that are un and that are not in alignment with the rest of you, right? You need to be aligned on every level to be existing at your greatest potential on this planet, to be living your greatest life. You can't have part of you being siphoned off into lower, really lower expressions of consciousness, which I'll get into here in a moment, because then what happens is you have something out of alignment this part of you is going to prevent you from achieving all of your dreams. It's going to prevent you from really realizing your potential on this planet. Because we came here to live big. We didn't come here to work small jobs and to rack up karma. We came here to save this planet. If you're watching this video, you were guided to this video. You were going to be a leader really helping everyone else on this planet to understand what's going on and to rebuild. We came here during the most exciting and difficult time of the history of this planet. And that's because you are an amazing soul that chose to come help this planet. So we don't need to be running away and trying to escape this planet, right? It's a prison planet. It's not. It's just part of you, right? Your consciousness is imprisoned, is enslaved. So let's get into how that works. So know that the densest layers of dimensions 
exist in really that lowest vibrational level, right? There, um, Dr. David Hawkins um, literally measured frequencies and certain, uh, certain emotions or vibrations, right, of very low vibrations of fear, hatred, hopelessness, these exist in a lower or in an, in an actual different space in the time-space continuum. Um, emotions that are happiness, bliss, excitement, gratefulness, these exist in a more expansive, in a different place, in a different space in the time-space continuum. So it's kind of like um, if you think about um, if you mix oil and water, right? They will separate. So dimensions aren't really stacked up. They are actually spheres inside one another. So the lowest, densest vibrations will be in the center here, locked down. So you can feel this, especially as we go along the ascension path and we become more expanded beings. We can feel these locked down wormholes. Um, so for me, they feel like knots, like these you know, um, areas that my, my consciousness is enslaved. It's trapped, it's in a loop, in a closed loop. So they need, it, they need you to be completely enslaved into these closed loop systems. This is what's feeding the beast machine, the predator mind on the planet. This is what's feeding their plan. So what they need is a few things. So this is why it's 24 seven fear propaganda out there because fear is really the, one of the lowest locked down, tight, um, contracted consciousnesses. And it actually exists in a different space even than anger. Anger is a step up from fear, believe it or not. It exists in a different space. It has more expansiveness. Again, right? Anger is still gonna be a low vibrational consciousness trapped down, right? In a more physicalized field. We need to be existing in more anti-particle fields. That is where we now move into infinity expansion. So the reason why it's 24 seven fear propaganda out there is because they can entrap, enslave people, their full consciousness into the lowest possible things. And that feeds their energy, right? So think about yourself as being infinite soul parts. The parts of you that are enslaved, right, that are trapped down in these loops are like black holes. They are, so, so for me, I, I literally, like I said, experienced them as a siphoning. So this is a cord siphoning, sucking your energy into where? Their plan. So let's get into some of these examples. So we can think of people being completely locked down in that fear as, as their consciousness is existing in the lowest level of the first dimension. So all these dimensions are organic, beautiful dimensions of creation. The, the difference is, is when you get your, your consciousness enslaved into a polarized state, a karma in that dimension. So, it's, so the whole point is when you're in the center of all of these fields, you can move into a higher level. So it's kind of like when you have water in a glass, right? We can think of that water is enslaved into the shape of that glass. When we put a straw in the middle, right? And we start sucking on the straw, that all of that consciousness that was stuck in that space can now be sucked up, right? Into your mouth, <laughs> um, into a higher expression. So that's why I always talk about zero point. Zero point is that center point connecting all of these dimensions. And you can see this in the video here. Um, this is showing my rainbow light body. Because I am embodied, you can actually see these things because I have spirit embodied into physicality. So you can see now how my consciousness, how one level, right, feeds the next level. So this is really how consciousness works. We have, right, our energy of that expansiveness has to step down into denser and denser and denser levels, right? These are denser fields, smaller spheres of energy, of dimensional states. And that's simply how we have 
uh, the ability to have consciousness right in a physical field we can't just go from pure source to 3d energy has to step down into denser and denser particleized um, spaces and that's also why we have dimensional spaces it's because of that is literally where that consciousness lies in the time space continuum the great spiral of of creation so when you have energies that are entrapped those energies can't can't get to the next level right so you you have now created a blockage not allowing that consciousness to move into a higher expression so for example people that are locked in fear in that first dimensional survival mechanisms so this is everything to do with right these these um programs that that again they you know what i'm talking about that they really keep us looped in is these survival mechanisms right when um, when someone is locked down into the first dimensional state of consciousness it is the most basic way of existing where they completely live enslaved into this fight or flight just trying to survive right they don't have one second of their day where they go beyond just trying to make money just trying to survive right and so we have so many people that are literally locked in fear their consciousness is siphoned right is trapped is locked down pressed down into the lowest sphere because when you are in that state where you are completely just in fight or flight just trying to survive just trying to get to the next moment to the next day where, where you don't feel safe 24 7 what happens is you will give away your power you want to be saved you want the power right if you want they i almost said it you want they just tell me what to do i need to be saved but again that is enslaving yourself into giving away your power and allowing someone to dictate what you need to do and that's exactly the plan going on out there right they need people to be willing to give up their power so then they can feed these systems that rate right, these programs that they are trying to create so of course we've all heard of their plan where they want to of course have a one world government um, and again it goes beyond that right so so anyone in that first dimensional state right when you're locked into that fight or flight you're not thinking rationally you're not going beyond that you're not creating the world you want to see right you give away your power so they also have of course many people locked into the second dimensional realm which is again um, you can say is one step above the bottom barrel uh, fear programs so when you're locked into that second dimensional um, consciousness state you could be completely in um you know bouncing from one low vibrational state to the next right fear then hopelessness now you're angry right um so really you're locked into that low emotional state where you feel that you, like you are stuck you can't get out of this prison planet um you could be locked in addictions so all addictions really they keep us locked into that right siphoning off your energy most people in their life have been have had issues of addiction in one way or another so it could be addictions to anything even if it's um, if it seems like something minor if that is constantly keeping you thinking about something if you are constantly worrying about something you know waiting till you can get that thing then you are enslaved right think about you in every moment are you here in the present moment or do you have parts of you that are constantly in this loop thinking about something worrying about something you know it's all about enslaving your consciousness remember when you have a part of you that is constantly feeding this thought or constantly in a low state where you need that relief you need to um, fill the void so your energy is is being siphoned off Right, you have a leakage and you are fueling their whole agenda so remember they have they have right these plans are multi-layered so when they keep you addicted again you're not seeing what's going on you don't have time because you're too worried about your focus right 
you're too worried about focusing on getting that next high, filling that void within you. So again, a perfect way to steal people's consciousness, to just allow them to give away their power as long as they can get their, their joint, they don't care what happens, right? As long as they can do this, they don't care if their light blows up. So we have, of course, billions of people on the planet addicted to various things. And also in the second dimensional state is, of course, sexual misery programs. So anyone that is locked into constantly worrying about sex, you know, looking at porn, always trying to get laid, um, you know, people thinking about sex 24 seven, that is your energy is fueling darkness. Okay. So everything, your consciousness needs to be completely here in the now moment. That is what ascension is. It's about mastery of every part of you. So there's so many programs to try to keep you preoccupied on something. So it's kind of like you're, you're busy over here. You don't see what's going on over here. Right. And so someone who's obsessed in that sexual obsession isn't going to be living their best life. They're not going to be doing the inner, um, the inner healing to get beyond that obsession with something, you know, external. Because really it's about being obsessed with things external. You need to fill yourself up with all these external things. Well, guess what that does? That also fuels the multinational corporations. They got lots of products to sell you to fill the void within, right? But if you're constantly searching outside of yourself for either people or things, that is enslaving your consciousness, feeding, and literally you are supplying the money towards all these plans, right? To keep you enslaved. So the next level up would be more of an angry state. That would be more of um, a, th a third dimensional state of, you know, power, control, greed. So, um, so again, very low vibrational um, consciousnesses. But anyone that of course, right, we have many billions of people over the planet that are locked into the third dimensional state. And, and that is being obsessed, of course, with the 3D world, being in that linear rational mind, constantly thinking, can't shut off their mind, can't see beyond the narrow facts of what they're being fed by everyone else out there, right? There's no ability to synthesize multiple levels of what's going on. They're just locked into that victim mentality, right? The victim perpetrator savior mentality. Um, also people that are obsessed with manifesting, with, you know, needing um, more money, right? More things. Um, people that are in that competition mode, right? Those are consciousnesses that they are using. They are siphoning off your energy and fueling their plan, right? They need everybody at competition. They need, they need everybody separate fighting with each other. Right, think about how many dramas they got going on out there. They don't even need to be involved. They just, you know, st start a few fires and all the people are stuck in their ego, right? Because the, the third dimensional state is, is the lower mind ego. You know, anyone that's kind of locked in that 3D state will be constantly stuck in the mind, stuck in fighting with everybody, right? Only seeing a very limited um, um, perspective of life also keeping you in the rat race, right? Always just needing to focus on more and more and more. Um, and also, right, anything about giving up your power and controlling others, right? So there's lots locked in these first levels of consciousness that keep you locked in 3D earth. We can go well beyond that. We can open up the heart start opening up our throat, open up our third eye, open up our crown, go beyond into anti-particle realms of the God worlds. So that is the whole point of ascension is to get beyond this 3D mentality of allowing your consciousness to be constantly siphoned off to feed these lower agendas. So remember that it's us that is feeding these dark agendas in the world. People are evil because they are given energy. So remember, these are parasitic forces, parasitic people. They need your attention. They need your money. They need you believing them. 
they can't right they can't um enact their plan if people are like uh no see you later not going to be you know looped into that so this is why they need constant people in that survival mode right and again, they need your physical body toxic because the first dimension that is your physical body. So they need your body full of toxins. So you're stuck, right? So the more um, layers that you have within these dimensions, your consciousness can't get beyond 3D Earth. It's locked down. And so, so for those of us that are existing in higher levels, we can feel this as sometimes we feel pressure. We feel like our energy is being pulled or like we feel cords all through our energy body, through our physical body. We feel, um, right, we can be amazing that all of a sudden we're worrying about something or we can be triggered. So we can feel all these different expressions. All of these things, right, all of these first dimensional survival mechanisms and traumas, second dimensional um, addictions, uh, lower emotional states and sexual misery programs, third dimensional um, programs of competition and um, the ego, um, trying to overpower and control others. Um, and also the victim states, of course, where, you know, I'm a victim, please save me, right? Give me the magic pill. Give me the, give me the magic shot to save the day, right? So it's giving away your power on every single level. So now they swoop in and, and they try to pretend that they are the heroes now oh don't worry everybody the government's here to save the day no <laughs> we know better than that right but this is how your consciousness fuels those lower agendas they need you completely giving up power so they need you to be in stress to be having your energy in chaos because eventually, right, when you're feeling sick, when you're feeling stuck, depressed, right, all these lower vibrations of, like I said, first, second, third dimensional reality, um, you just want somebody to save the day, right? You just want somebody, please help me, right? And so are you living your best life? Are you expressing yourself to the highest degree? Are you getting up every day, expanding yourself, shining in this world? We came here to lead the world. We came here to, as spirit in action, in physicality, right? We didn't come here to get saved by anybody. We didn't come here to have everybody else do the work. We came here to do the real work. And that involves allowing all these parts of you that are being used by dark portals, right? That are being siphoned to feed these agendas all of these need to be you know soul retrieval we need to dissolve those karmas and you will find that now you get back all this parts of you all these where right, you get back your power again you get back your ability to now express yourself truly right when you are just going through the motions and you don't have one minute to get beyond that you're not going to be living your highest life. You are not living your greatest purpose. You are not feeling calm and excited for the day. Right? So this is how they entrap your and enslave and steal your soul. When you're not living out your soul purpose, you are a different person. Right? Broken people create broken systems, right? They feed broken systems. People that are whole don't support that crap. So just think about that next time that you um, get yourself all worked up about something, angry about something, in fear. Are you feeding new earth systems of inf infinite abundance and unity and love and balance? Or are you feeding the beast machine? with your attention, with your anger, with your fear, right? So it's all about us. Know that there's going to be a ramping up of the drama to feed those systems right now because they're losing power big time. And sign up for my Ascension Magic course if you want to know a lot more about all this information. I have over 60 brand new videos 
Um, it's supposed to be six weeks. Now it's going to be a nine week course. So I'm still going. Lots more to talk about. And that's on my website, earth1111.com. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and share the video with everybody you know. It really helps my videos get to more people. Thanks to you guys. I'm Roxanne. This has been Earth 1111. All right, bye.